Hello guys, so welcome back to our channel. This is Jessica. So for today's video, I'm going to help you on how to process extend tourist or visitor visa for Canada. So let's go. Many people asking on how to extend their visitor visa for Canada and for extending our visitor visa for Canada, we have to do it via GCK account. And for us to do that, first step is we have to create our account in GCK. So first one is go to Google, search GCK login, and then click the first says sign into your IRCC secure account. And you will be routed here. So if you already have your previous GCK account then just simply log in and if you don't have then you have to create one so since this is a tutorial I'll go create another uh, another one for you guys so click register for account and then register with a GCK username and password click this sign up and then as you can see there is a terms and condition of use I accept and then this one we can create our username here for example this one and then continue and for password um you can create your own password and then continue and um there is also create your recovery questions by any chance if we are able to log in or we forgot our password. So you have to create your own recovery question and then continue. Optional account recovery. You were unable to log in or your email address or so on and so forth. Then you have to put your email address and then click continue. And then there you go. It says GCK sign, sign up complete. And once you're able to put your account recovery, which is your email address, you have to check your email address because they will send a confirmation code that you have to put in here. So let's go to our email address. So here it is. It's coming from GCK. So there is the code. Just simply copy that and put it here and click continue. There you go. You added this email address as your recovery. There is a welcome message coming from GCK and just put, press continue or click continue. This one you can choose a method for two-factor authentication. So I'll just use email address. Set up email address and then another terms and condition of use. Just click I accept and then enter the email address here and then continue then again they will send a one-time passcode to your email address so you have to go check your email address and then you will see on your email there's a one-time passcode just copy that and paste it here and then continue and that will be your recovery codes so for this recovery codes you have to remember this recovery codes so me i'm probably doing a screenshot for this and then once you're able to save your recovery codes just tick this box and then continue and then there you go we are able to set up our authentication and then once you click continue you will be proceeding with other terms and conditions and then press i accept and then on this part this will be um, your GCK account. So you have to create an account. You have to put your name and your last name, your email address, and select the preferred language you want. So there is two options, English and French. So we will go to English and then continue. For us to create our GCK account, there will be another security questions uh, these security questions help us whenever we do log into our gck account it's always popping out um to our gck account later on i'll show you which part it will be show up and once we are able done creating our security questions and answer just press continue and there you go we are able to create our gck account and I'll show you if I'll do log out. So I'll do log out and try to log in again. So
this one since we set up a two-factor authentication and that's on our email address as you remember so they will send you another code to your email address whenever you log in to your account so you just simply go to your email and copy the two-factor authentication or the one-time passcode and continue and then continue accept the terms and condition and this is what i'm saying which is uh, uh the security question and answer that we made a while ago so this is what i put a while ago which is favorite food and we will put chicken and then continue and we are able to log in to our gck account and now how can we create or how can we process our extension? So just simply click this apply to come to Canada and then just leave this blank, this part. You have to proceed with determine your eligibility and apply online visitor visa study and work permit. And press that button. And there you go, you, uh, ha you have to find out if we are eligible to apply for extension visitor. The first question is what would you like to do in Canada? So visit and how long are you planning to stay in Canada? So let's says temporary more than six months. So just to let you know also, you can request for one year extension or just for six months. So if you're requesting just for six months, you can just says temporary less than six months. But if you want to request for a year extension as a visitor visa, you can uh, click this temporary more than six months. But this is case to case scenario. It also depends with the visa officer who will look with your application for visitor visa. So even your request for one year, the decision and the result will be depends on the vis uh, visa officer. If you request for one year, but they give you only six months, that's it. It's case to case basis, but there are some visa officer giving you a one year extension. So this one, you have to select the code that matches one on your passport. So for example, we are in Philippines based on the passport. And this one, since we are already inside Canada, we have to put Canada since we are extending our visitor. And do you have a family member who is a Canadian citizen or permanent resident and is 18 years or older? Let's say no. What is your birth date of birth? Just put your birthday or your information and then press next. How you live in Canada as a permanent resident or landed immigrant? So no. And then are you a lawful permanent resident of the US United or the United States with valid US citizenship and immigration services? So if you do so click yes. If not if not, then no. What is your current immigration status in Canada? So this one, we will uh, select visitor and we're just extending our visitor visa. And then what is your marital status? So single, what is your province or territory of destination? So uh, what uh, province you are right now in Canada? And then next, your result. Based on information you provided, the results, uh, whether you may be eligible to come to Canada, visitor in Canada. So just simply continue, click that continue. We're almost there, continue. Are you com uh, accompanying a family member who has status in Canada? So no. And then here, what is, uh, when does your status in Canada will expire? This one, you just have to put your six months uh, stay and then next. And then, have you had a medical exam performed by an IRCC authorized final physician doctor within the, the last 12 months? If you have been previously do your medical exam, which is performed by an IRCC or uh, authorized, authorized final physician, and it's not expired yet, then you can just say yes. If it's not, then click no. And then continue. And then, as you can see, they might be needing a medical exam and yes for processing extension visa or visitor visa there will be 
medical exam, but lucky you if the visa officer will not require you to do the medical exam. But most of the time they require you to do a medical exam if you are extending your visitor visa. And for this one, there is another question. Do you fit into one of these categories? So no. Click next after. Do you want to submit an application for a family member? So if you guys are a family member who visited here and you wanted to apply for an extension also for a family member again for a group then just click yes if not then click no if you're just single or one person only and this one are you giving someone access to your application so no since we are doing DIY or do it yourself and then click next in the past 10 years have you given your fingerprints and biometrics for an application to come to Canada and yes that's yes because that's what the first one that we did uh, on the first step of applying for visitor visa right and then this one is just for an extension and then click next so they are Informing you that the, there are fees associated with this application. Will you be, will you be paying your fees, or are you or, or are you fee exempt? So this one, yes, I'll be paying my application fee. Are you able to make a digital copy of your documents with a scanner or camera? Yes, and then next, will you be paying your application fee online? To pay online, you can use credit card, Visa, Mastercard, and so on and so forth, and then yes and then click next and there you go so those are the answers that we provided a while ago they giving you a review or a summary of uh, the questions with your answers and then click continue and then there you go the meeting your application so this one just simply read this information on how to attach those files that needed for applying for extension for visitor visa so there you go as you can see there's application to change conditions extend my stay or remain in canada as a visitor or a temporary resident permit holder so this is the form which is the imm 5708 i will teach you on how to fill out this imm 5708 and then the passport proof of means of financial support digital photo and then the application for a temporary resident visa made outside so this one is just optional only this part and this part client information and as, as you can see uh, the, pro uh, the amount for processing your extension visa is a hundred Canadian dollar so this one it's fine if, if you're not putting any additional doc or uh, any other information for this part but if you want to put additional information or documents to support your stay for Canada, then just simply attach here if you want to make a letter of explanation why you wanted to extend for a year, then just simply put or attach the, the information or the file here in client information. So this one, you will be requiring also to have a digital photo so they're giving you a size for that the digital photo size and proof of means financial support so this one you have to attach your bank certificate uh statements if someone is still in uh, still do sponsoring you to stay here for your extension then you have to make a letter and you have to attach also a, a, additional supporting documents that they can support you and sponsor you while you extending your stay here in Canada. And of course, don't forget your passport. That's it. So on my next video, I will help you on how to fill out the form for IMM 5708 and IMM 5257. Okay, thank you for watching.